Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Alvis. I'm a graphic designer. I'm a web designer. I'll also double up as a content creator. Now, in this video today, I want to show you how you can actually get to create your website in Kenya. So first thing you have to remember is that when you want to create a website for your business or when you want to create maybe your personal website, you first have to have a few fundamentals in mind. The first thing that you need for a website is number one, you're going to need something we refer to as hosting. And number two, you're going to need a domain. All right. Now, hosting is basically storage for your website. The domain name or rather the domain is the name of your website. A domain name can be such like this very simple domain name that we have over here. And then again, you can also have such a domain name. You can have www.mybusiness.cu.ke. You can also have www. You know, mybusiness.org.com. It doesn't matter which extension that you decide to choose. Now, in this video, I want to explain to you where you can actually get good website hosting in Kenya from a reputable company. For the for for the past over four years, let me say four years, I've actually been using uh, Host Pinnacle. I had previously previously been using a different company, but I actually got to interact with Host Pinnacle, and I can say that the experience I had was very very fascinating. Now this is Host Pinnacle itself. So the first thing we'll do is go to the home page. We want to see the various packages that these particular individuals have. So we're going to check uh, web hosting. So currently I'm logged in into my account on Host Pinnacle. Currently I have three hosting packages. Uh, one if, one is mine, the other two are for a client. So like for example, let me show you something. If you come over here to the home page that is at the top, it is actually going to show you, first of all, you're going to get this blip over here that allows you to, f it tells you to search for a domain name that you want to use. Like for example, you can search for www. Uh, let's say uh, grow my business. All right, .co ke to check on availability of that particular domain. So uh, apparently the domain name is available. The charge for that particular domain name is 999 Kenya shillings. Now remember, this is not the only thing that you need. You can also decide that you want .com. Let's see if it's available. You can see www.growmybusiness. Okay, let me just add an S over here so that we can see whether it's available. It's not available for now. But if we added a different extension, let's say grow by my business.c.ke it's actually available now that is how you actually get to source for a domain name for your website that you want to create the next thing that you need is a hosting all right so if we come and check for the we look at the whole website hosting packages that uh, host pinnacle actually has you can see that they have a number they have the starter package that you pay kenya shillings 2999 per year and with this you can actually host an unlimited number of websites all right. You can also get what you get is that you're going to get free.co.ke or .com domain. So if you decide to go with this package, you're going to get a free.co.ke domain or a .com domain. Then you're also going to get 35 GB NVMe storage, which is very sufficient. You get access to email accounts. Email accounts are basically emails like info at mybusiness.co.ke, info at mybusiness.com. That is basically what I mean by email accounts. And you can see all the various packages are actually, all the various features are actually well explained and stipulated. Then they have this package that goes for 3,999, which is the best value package. I tend to go for these most of the time when I'm creating websites for clients. So this one you can host number one, an unlimited number of websites as the first thing. You're going to get any free domain. If you want .org, .business, you are actually going to get that free domain. Then they also give you 100 GB NVMe storage, which is very, very sufficient, and it is actually very good. Now, all the other features actually remain to be the same. Then we have this executive package that is 10,999 Kenya shillings, which happens to be the best package. You can host an unlimited number of websites. You have a free domain registration, any kind of domain, and then you have unlimited NVMe storage. So you can have as many Websites, you can even have a full database in this particular website hosting package, which is actually very good. Now, remember that you have to create an account anytime you want to log into Host Pinnacle. So always remember to create an account. So that is basically it, how you actually get to first get uh, website hosting. Now, I'm not going to go to, through in the, uh, I'm not going to go through the process of actually buying uh, website hosting because it's very easy. All you need to do is just select the package that you want. Then you input the domain that you want to have. That is the name of your website. 
after you've after some few minutes like 30 minutes of propagation and setting up or even an hour you get c panel credentials that are actually going to be sent on your email and they are also going to appear on your dashboard in your in your wordpress uh, sorry in your host pinnacle dashboard so like for example you have this so if i click over here it logs me in directly into the c panel all right and when i log into the c panel i can see a number of things about um, everything about my website we have email accounts forwarders email routing autoresponders default address mailing lists track delivery everything that you can actually want for your website you can you even have access to your database your base your basically your database in uh, uh that is in uh in the c panel but now the important thing that you have to remember is that you need to have something we refer to as wordpress manager by softaculars all right so this is what you basically use to install wordpress so let me open this link in a new tab eh? so that you can actually see what what it means currently i have a number of websites in this this particular package but um, I'm, I'm actually going to be showing you a website that we recently created as a team and um, this website itself is for an organization that is ours by the name of network skip and uh, if you open this is basically what you get as your wordpress dashboard all right now i have a full extensive course on how you can actually uh, get to learn how to use wordpress but this is simply it how you actually log in into your wordpress dashboard all right so it's it's actually very very simple all you need to have is the accurate information on wordpress all right so currently remember wordpress works with two main two main things it works with themes and plugins so currently we have a theme that is installed by the name of bloxy all right and then we also have plugins that we've installed for the same so that we can actually get to have a so that we can get to have various functions on the website so what we'll do let's hover onto the website and see what it actually looks like all right so let me open that up now if you can see this is the website itself it has actually been created using wordpress all the pages have actually been designed using a page builder we refer to as elementor elementor is one of the best actually the best page builder that you can actually use when creating websites using wordpress so like currently we have our home page very very simple very very simple home page we also have forms over here now remember i told you that you use forms to actually maybe get messages from people so if you wanted to send a message over here you can just send a message then over here we have our footer all right these are our footer footer one and then if you have, we have footer two over here then you can go to the about us page and you can see everything about our very very simple website this has actually been actualized using wordpress you can even go to we have an event that is actually coming up uh, it's called the freelance launch pad so basically we created a landing page on the same over here and we put all the relevant information that you can actually use all right now that's it then we also have uh, different pages for our website you can scroll through and read through you can even have even a contact form or a, or a contact page where someone is actually going to come and fill it out and maybe send a message to you now the power that you have with creating a website in kenya is that it allows you to exist online all right that is the first most important thing when you have a website it basically allows you to exist online so if like i come over here and search for just i search for network skip automatically that website is actually going to come at the top over here so we've done something we refer to as search engine optimization such that when someone searches for this particular domain the, the particular name of that website you can actually get to see the website as the first one all right now like i run an agency my agency is called terra creations terra creations is a business that i founded five years ago and as you can see it automatically you're able to basically first get a quick view of the website so you can see these are very simple websites you can actually check us out we offer web design services if you might be interested you can actually contact me for a website but basically that is how you get to create your own your own website in kenya so first of all you need to start by getting website hosting all right you can decide to go with any package and then you also need a domain name the domain name is the particular name of your website so remember that now i hope that introduction is actually helpful and that you've been able to learn a few things on uh, website hosting so thank you you can also subscribe to my youtube channel there's more information that i'll be posting and sharing uh, more often. Thank you.